Kelly here from Ranbet and today I'm going to talk about how to clean your riding helmet. So I'm usually pretty good about cleaning my horse gear. I clean my saddles and my bridles and my saddle claws I clean quite regularly but I'm really really bad about cleaning my helmet. So today I'm going to go through and just show you a few little tips and tricks and hints on how to keep your riding helmets nice and clean so that they last a long time and they're nice and safe. So this is my old riding helmet that I've been using for quite a few years now so I bought a new one. You should replace your riding helmets every five years so this one's being replaced because it's getting a bit old and scratched and you can see on the inside it's got some dried bits probably makeup and sweat and sunscreen and dirt and everything else so it's gotten a bit gross. I haven't done a very good job of keeping it clean so I'm going to try and, and be better and keep my new helmet nice and clean so it lasts a lot longer. Um, because as helmets get old, the plastic starts to break down. Um, the foam and in that inside gets compressed and it starts to break down. So if you don't keep them nice and clean and store them properly, they don't last quite as long as they should and they're not as safe when you go out riding in them. So just to start with, if your helmet has got any sort of mud or caked on debris, you just let them sit out and air dry for a while. Always air dry your helmets out of the sun so don't have them in direct sunlight because the heat can start to damage and break down the plastic and make them brittle. Um, also extreme cold is really bad for your helmet so don't keep them in really cold tack, tack rooms in the winter time or really hot cars or really hot tack rooms in the summertime. Always make sure they're nice and, and cool and dry at all times if possible. So we've let the mud dry and to get the mud off we're going to use either a nice soft clothes brush to brush it off or we've got a nice sponge. I've also got some lint-free cloths that you can use if they're not too dirty, if it's just a bit dusty. Um, for your velvet helmets, I've got a hat sponge. So that's a hat sponge that you can use on your velvet hats or a lint brush. Or I've got these little lint-free cloths you can use as well, just to brush off the outside. So after we've removed all the dirt and debris, these not too much debris on them, we can get our sponge and just use nice warm soapy water that I've got there. Get our sponge. You don't want it too wet, just sort of damp. And we'll get our helmet, not our velvet one, just your hard helmet and just give that a good clean on the outside. Just getting rid of any bits. Don't use the scratchy side because you'll scratch the helmet and you might damage it. Just the spongy side. And clean that all over. Just like that. And then we'll come over to our clean water and we'll just rinse that out, make a mess. And then just get off the soapy bits. That's pretty good, looks a lot better. And you can allow that to air dry or you can use your lint-free cloth to give it a good dry off. Don't use harsh chemicals on your helmets. So I've got some Ajax spray and wipe here. Or I've got some Dettol. Don't use these products on your helmets because they've got alcohol and acids in them and they can break down the glue that's holding your helmet together and cause some damage so that when you're riding they might not be as safe as they should be. So use just nice warm soapy water to clean the outside of your hard helmets. And also make sure you pay close attention to the inside of the visors, clean those. And your chin straps, make sure they have a good clean as well. If you can't get into the little bits, you can use a toothbrush or you can use some little cotton buds to get into the little bits there. Got some little cotton buds there, you can get down in there and clean that out. Just the grotty bits down in there where I think a spider's built a little nest. And I've also got, if you can't get down into the vented holes here, we've got some compressed air. So that's compressed air. You can just get that at Bunnings. It's very cheap. So you just, I think it's got a cap on it. Take the cap off. And that gets all of the dirt bits and dust 
and blows it all out. And it works really well on hats like this that have the venting. You can just sort of, whoop, not too close. You go. That just blows any dirt and dust out. So we cleaned the outside of the hard hat. Velvet helmet, we're just using a nice lint free brush to brush off any debris um, or the damp sponge works as well you don't want it to be too wet or you'll damage the velvet and then just let that air dry little velvet hat and now for the inside so all three of these hats are different to clean on the inside so these two hats don't have removable liners so for them we're going to use a proper helmet cleaning kit this kit was supplied by trail race saddle world in tagra thank you very much guys so they've donated this little cleaning kit today for my demonstration. So inside the kit, we've got a little sponge. It's a nice squishy sponge. And we've got helmet cleaner. So you wanna use a proper helmet cleaner on your helmets that doesn't contain alcohol or acids so that it doesn't degrade or damage the glue inside. So that's why it's really important on the inside to use proper helmet cleaner. And then after riding, if they don't need a clean, if they just need a little refresher, there's a refresher spray. And you can just spray that inside the helmet and that helps to reduce any sort of bacterial or fungal growth that might happen in between your cleaning. Um, spray that inside and just let it dry. But for now, we're gonna clean. So give it a little shake. Take the lid off. It goes on our little sponge. Whoop. <laughs> Splatters everywhere. Get that on your sponge. So don't put the cleaner directly on the helmet, put it on your sponge so that you don't use too much. And just where we've got a bit of makeup there, we're just gonna give it a clean. That works really well. Looks a lot better already. And we wanna make sure that we get our chin straps as well. This one has a removable chin strap. So undo that. You notice there's a bit of debris underneath. So make sure you get all that and clean that out. Give it a good clean and then leave that to dry. So don't put that back on until it's nice and dry. And clean all around, all inside your helmet until you're satisfied and then leave that out to dry. So that's inside those. That one's beyond help, so we'll leave him. This helmet here, so this is my nice new one, it's got a removable liner. These are great. This is much easier than having to do everything by hand. You can just pull the liner out. And this can be hand washed in our nice warm soapy water. Or you can put it in a washing bag. So I've got a washing bag here. This is used for washing delicates in the machine. You can pop it in there, put it in your washing machine and just wash it on a gentle cycle with nice mild soap um, and then let that air dry. Don't wring them dry and don't put it in the machine dryer to dry. Just leave it out to air dry so that we don't damage it and it has a nice long life. And after it's air dry, we'll just pop it back in our helmet and it's ready to go. Nice and easy. So when you're storing your helmets, always store them in a cool, dry place. I mentioned that. Um, storage bags are really great. The ones that they came with are good to keep them stored in just to keep the dust off them. With the storage bags though, this one here I noticed today when I took out my old helmet, there's some mold already growing inside the bag. So do make sure that when you clean your helmets, that every now and again, you just get the helmet bag out and give it a little wash too. Again, just warm soapy water, give it a rinse and let it air dry 
before you put your helmet back in and store it. I think that's everything. So thank you very much. Uh, leave us a comment if you like what we did. Uh, if you've got any questions, put that in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.